views today. It's the first day of week four. Uh, we're on our lunch break. It was rainy and windy and cold this morning. Makes it real hard to get out of the tent. Um, but we should be getting out of the Smokies today. How much further do we have to go? Today? Eight miles? Like eight and a half, yeah. But when are we out of the Smokies? Mm -hmm. Davenport Gap. Is that in eight miles? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> eight miles left of the Smokies. <clears throat> okay, it's official. Five days. Five days later. Oh, I guess. I guess seven. Uh -huh. Zeros. And we're walking out of the Smokies. All right. No socks this time. Take two. Luca tape. All right. Fire start cubes. Match. Some band aids. It's like a little uh, first aid kit. First aid box. Well, that was nice of someone. Yes. Thank you, Trail Angel. We are out of the Smokies, which means we are no longer limited by our camp choices. We can choose some stealth camps again. So we're set up on, it's actually a little island. There's water on both sides of us right now. And we're making dinner. Where do we go, Katie? West or east? East. They both have blazes. We go east. <laughs> this is actually a part of Deceiver's origin story here. I think this crossing of I-40 is the first time he ever saw the Appalachian Trail. I think I shed a single tear of beauty. been a blustery day, I would say. Woke up with some rain, so after the beautiful weather we had at Max Patch yesterday, had some rain, a lot of wind, pretty cold out. So looking forward to spending the night in Hot Springs tonight. Town day! hot springs today and blessings on blessings we were treated to breakfast by fresh grounds this morning which was awesome 
and then he left a giant bowl of chicken noodle soup for everyone before heading out. Uh, it's pretty cold again today. And then we were at a diner getting lunch before leaving town and this sweet man paid for our meal. I just can't believe how generous people are to complete strangers. Gives you a little hope for humanity. Crossing the French Bread River. I know it's French Broad River, but I don't know in my head. It's always been French Bread. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing. I guess that one can be the French Bread River. And this one is the French Broad River. We're just walking along through this forest. And we turned around and saw there's snow on these trees. It's windy, it's cold, and we're being hailed on. <laughs> Crazy. We woke up this morning to snow. The high today is 29, and the low is 5. Pray for me. We are here with Southern Cookie Lady. She made oatmeal raisin cookies. They're really good, and it's just brightened up our whole day. <laughs> Alright, today for lunch because it's so good, I thought I had to document it. So, we bought each a block of Parmesan, <clears throat> and then, where's the salami? Give that to me. So bossy. Mm. <laughs> we got this, Del Duca. Since it's so snowy and cold outside, everything will stay good pretty long. So we're eating that with some crackers. And then for some calories, some more peanut butter, and a trail mix. What you say, Katie? How's it taste? Very good. <laughs> nice. There's no way we would be able to figure out the trail here without far out. This is a bushwhack. I'm sure there's a blaze somewhere underneath the snow, but this trail on Big Butt Mountain is not really a trail. One day, spring has arrived. I have to be honest, I think the past couple of days I have been more crabby camp hair than happy camp hair. I don't like it when it's really cold outside. That's what I've learned. Usually during the day while we're actually hiking, it's been fine, but it's the times when we're not hiking that are not fine which has meant the past two nights and subsequently the past two mornings. Um, even though I think part of me really wanted to 
be in this winter wonderland that we were in earlier. Poor Deceiver, I think he has had to put up with a not very pleasant <laughs> hiking partner. But the sun has come out and we will continue. Which way does the AT go? This nice flat route or up this hill? Up this hill it is. Not a bad little break spot here. Even got some benches, we've got nice views, got some sun. What more could you ask for? I was very excited for this trail mix because I thought I saw that it had Brazil nuts in it. And my good friend Emily told me if I eat one Brazil nut a day, I'll get all of the magnesium that I need. It even says good source magnesium. But when I was looking for the Brazil nuts, I couldn't find any. And it says may contain, may contain Brazil nuts. What will I do now? 